and welcome back to Budapest uh, where you join us for the afternoon session here on day one of the 2022 European Bench Press Championships. It's a big session this afternoon. We've got all the masters, two women from 52 to 84 plus. Promises some fantastic lifting. Start the competition in 20 seconds. First lifter will be Doris Augustinio, followed by Fern and Shergot. And I'll call out the weight classes to you uh, each time I remember to, but if I don't, the weight class will show on the screen, on the graphic on the screen. And the first lifter is Doris Augustiniak from Germany in the 63 kilo class. And she is opening on 52.5 kilos. Is it loaded? Okay. Marvis loaded for Doris Augustiniak, Germany. Fernand Serkov, hello. So as we said, Doris Augustiniak from Germany opening the afternoon's proceedings in the 63 kilo class with 52.5 kilos. And all these lifters you will see in the session are masters two. Uh, it looks like a good lift to get us underway again. Now Toro Fon from Sweden, Doris next Lowe out 52.5 kilos. And she walks out to lots of Swedish shouts of encouragement in this fantastic big auditorium here in the Novotel complex in Budapest, Hungary. We were just saying earlier this must be one of the biggest auditoria we've ever screened from. Massive three levels of uh, spectator access. Probably got a capacity of 1,500, 2,000. Lovely big platform for the lifters to perform on. And that looks good. And it's a good lift. And the referees from nice for this session up. are from it's Hungary, a uh, center nice referee, side right. referees right. from right. Ukraine and Germany. And they're live. Get ready. Now, next up, we've got Rita Shergold from Great Britain. 57.5 kilos for her opening attempt. In the 63 kilo class. And that's and a good lift. Good Three lift wide lights. Now we move to the under 52 kilo class for Magdolna Petroski from Hungary. 54 years old. She's been competing for 34 years. Bar is loaded for Madonna Petroski, Hungary. Let's go, Madonna. One of three lifters in the 52 kilo class that look quite closely matched.
and that looks good. There were shouts from the crowd that the safety bar was too high on the right-hand side, but it was just low enough for her to avoid touching it. Now, uh, Geraldine Verlaine from France is next. Not sure if it's Verlaine or Berlin. I suspect the latter, so that's what I'll go with. 52 years old, only been competing for three years. And there's just a slight delay while the blocks are put in place for Verla. Very slowly for Geraldine Verlaine, France. And that's a good, a good lift. lift. Below the bar, 65 kilos for two next lifters. Anita Seter from Norway. After her, Gordon. Now, and next we up, we have uh, Anita Seter from Norway. Get ready. In the 57 kilo class, going with 65 kilos for her opener. Very slowly for Anita Setter, Norway. Sixteen lifters in this group. If you're wondering why it's more than fifteen, which is the rule for powerlifting, you can't have more than fourteen. Uh, it's up to twenty in bench press because of the generally quicker turnaround between the lifts, especially in classic. And a good lift for Anita. Nice opener. Then we have same weight for Maureen Gordon. Three white lights from now, Maureen Gordon. Katona and Kleikova. Get ready. And Boris loaded for Maureen Gordon, Great Britain. Again, reasonably recent to the sport. Um, five years ago, I was at a competition in Inverness coaching. And this young lady was doing her very first competition. And here she is five years later with world titles in her possession. And now she goes in these European championships, opening on 65 kilos. Oh, that's a good sound opener. It's a good for Three white lights. 67.5 kilos for three lifters in a row. First of them is Balintin Katona, Hungary. Now, Balintin uh, Katona from Hungary Katona, is next Hungary. out. First of three lifters on 67.5 kilos. in the under 57 kilo class. So this more than 10 kilos over body weight. And three white lights once again. Now Mlyankova from Czechia, 67.5 kilos on the bar. Just a reminder if you're joining us 
Everyone in this first group is Masters to Women, covering all the weight classes. Looks good. And three wide lines. Now, Marie Cabos from France is next. Same weight, 67.5 kilos. Well, that looks good as well. And, it's a good and the referees have had nothing to do so far this afternoon except kilos. press that white yeah. light button. Virginie Philippe, uh, from Virginie Philippe from France, 70 kilos on the bar, and she is in the 52 kilo class. So this is a big lift coming up. Three wide lights again. 72.5 kilos for Victoria Sederholm, Sweden. Now, Victoria Sederholm, Sweden is up next. 72.5 kilos on the bar. Then it goes up to 75 for the next two lifters. in the 63 kilo class. Looks good. Looks very easy. And, and three wide lights again. Nice then we have 75 kilos for Sanna Oksanen, Finland. Preparing Sparkova. Now Oksanen from Finland, Sanna Oksanen. 75 kilos for the 51 year old who has only been competing for two years. At the bar is PB 77.5. She's opening dangerously close to that. That looks good as well. That looks really easy. Opener and it's a good, good lead for Sana. Good job. Same weight for Tatiana Sparkova, Latvia. Preparing Orna and Pedersen. Now Tatiana Sparkova from Latvia, Latvia in the 63 kilo class is out next. Let's go. Two more lifters to follow in this first group. 
and then in the group that will follow immediately afterwards we'll have the rest of the Masters 2 women from 69 to 84 plus Oh, it looks good. Looked easy. Everybody say it's a good lead. Yeah, nice three white lights again. Then we have Mia Orne from Sweden, from Sverige. 85 kilos. Now, uh, Mia Ornell from Sweden. 85 kilos on the bar for her. The bar is loaded for Mia Orne, Sweden. 85 kilos. Let's go. Come in. Just into Masters 2 this year for the first time. And that's good as well. Very solid opener. Really Meets with the approval of the Swedes in the crowd. Now, Annette Pedersen from Denmark. Is the last out in the first and round. In the 76 Denmark. kilo class. Just to avoid any confusion, the 76s are in with the lower weight classes for the sake of numerical balance. Uh, you haven't blinked and missed the 69s. They will be in the next group. So this is the final lifter in the first round, Annette Pedersen from Denmark, 87.5 kilos. Oh, oh really well, I think not only has lift. every lifter got nice a so green good. light against their Please name after round one round, but unless my memory is letting me down, every long. single lifter in that Third first round circle. got three white lights. Get ready. So we're back with... Uh, Doris Augustiniuk from Germany to start the second round in the 63 kilo class and she's taking 57.5 kilos. Bar is loaded for Doris Augustiniuk, Germany. Seven Let's in go. the 63 kilo class. So the medals are going to be very closely contested. Looks good. And it's a good lift. Same weight for Tor Wilfen, Sweden. After her, Circle and Felix Rotsky. Get ready. Boris Lodi for Tor Wilfen, Sweden. Come in then. Now, Tor Wilfen from Sweden. Also in the 63s, taking. 57.5 remember if you're just joining us all the lifters in this session are masters to women and fawn is one of seven lifters in the 63 kilo class
Looks good. Smooth referee save. Side referee. We're just waiting Dance for one of the referees. Yeah, they're showing the flags instead. And they are all showing okay, white flags. Now, oh, Rita Shergold, Great Britain, 60 kilos for her second attempt. Laris Lodi for Rita Shergold, Great Britain. Let's go. Just a two and a half kilo jump from her opener. Looks good. Referees, you need to reset the referee lights because it's the earlier lifter, so. And it's, it's three anyway, white it's three flags for that the as the lights are reset. Chief referee. Okay, thank you. Next lifter will be Magdalena Petroski, 65 kilos. Now Petroski from Hungary Not is up yet, next. Sorry. We need the blocks and few other adjustments. Chief referee, reset the lights again. Chief referee, reset the lights. Just a second. So after McDonald, there will be Berlin and Setter. Just a slight delay here while a minor technical hitch with the referee's lights has been attended to. You can see the next lifter there, Magdolna Petroski from Hungary, Kirsten. just waiting for her attempt. Okay, it's okay. And All now right, so we are ready to, to go. Okay, bar is loaded for Magdolna Petroski. Let's go, Magdolna. Easy wait. Well, she's had a little bit of a wait. Uh, at least she's not in equipment, which will help, of course, but... Just hope the wait hasn't given her time to think negative thoughts that otherwise wouldn't have had time to creep in. So we wish her well. The Hungarian with 65 kilos on the bar. Come on, yes, looks good. Good job. And, and that is event. three white lights. Now the lights are working again. 67.5 kilos for Berlin. Now Geraldine Sarah Berlin from Did France is next. 67.5 kilos. Bar is loaded for Geraldine Berlin, France. And as you can see, the center referee in close attendance because the lifter has limited hearing, so has been given visual signals. She works and she works. You can see the effort. And she gets the rack command, and that should be good. Three and white lights. And you can just see Same from the overhead short facial expressions how hard the lifters work to get that bar to full arm extension. Now, Anita Saita from Norway is next. 67.5 kilos in the 57 kilo class. Start. 
Oh, it looks good. Very convincing. And it's a good lay for Anita. 70 kilos for Balintna Katona, Hungary. No, Balintna Katona from Hungary. 70 kilos on the bar in the 57 kilo class. One of four lifters in the 57s. And that's good as well. Look, it's really easy. Says the commentator really before the referees press their lights. But yeah, it was a great lift. No, Virginie After Philippe her, from Mary France. 72.5 kilos. kilos. And, and we're now Philippe. just about halfway through the second round. A reminder that this will immediately be followed by the a group which is the combined 69 and 84 under and over classes. All Masters 2. Really taking their time to get that grip absolutely right. And you can hear the yells of effort, but that looks good. And, and good the lift. white lights continue. Now Petra Milankova from Czechia. 72.5 kilos, also in the 57 kilo class. Good battle. Should be another good lift. No, good yellows from both the sides. That's the first red lights of the session. And if we look at the replay, I think you'll see the butt coming up. Yeah, there it was. First failure of the session. We're halfway through the second round. Now, Marie Caboche from France. 72.5 kilos for her as well, also in the under 57 kilo class. That looks good as well. And it's a good lift for Marie. Say wait for Maureen Gordon. Set at home and Oxon and get ready. Now Maureen Gordon, Maureen Great Slowly Britain is Maureen next up. 72.5 kilos on the bar. Let's go. She's made a big jump, seven and a half kilos from first to second. Unusual jump in this weight and age group, but she's obviously got the tactic of uh, getting a safe one in, then getting into the mix with the second one and seeing what she needs to medal in the third round. So this is a vital lift for her. This takes her to the fringe of the medal battle. That's good, but she knows she'll have to lift more. Easy. Lift. 
and once she got it moving, it went to lockout. Just watch quite slow at the beginning. And then it just flew up. And now Victoria Sederum from Sweden, 77.5 kilos in the 63 kilo class. And this would move her from bronze to gold medal position. looks heavy no she can't make it Sorry, no lift. well she's still in third but Sorry, Gordon no is lift. only two and a half no, kilos behind by Spakova and, and I'm just looking at the weights uh, the the screen changed couldn't see which was the lighter body weight now Sana Oksanen from Finland and she's going for a five kilo jump from 75 kilos to 80 and this would move her from silver to gold medal position but remember the lifter in gold medal position with the same lift at a lighter body weight will follow her and all she has to do is follow her with a higher lot number and if she matches her she wins on body weight. So Oxenen has to push her as far as she humanly can. Oh, that looks good. Again, it was tough to get it moving. But once she did, and she knows that could be a vital, vital lift. No, this is Spakova. Also in the 63s. Yeah. Now we've seen the Finnish lifter move into gold medal position. Uh, Spakova will retake the gold medal position on body weight if she makes this lift. Again, a really stacked 63 kilo class, seven lifters. she screams and it is three white lights and she moves back into gold medal position now Mia Arnell from Sweden next two lifters are in the 76 kilo class there's only two of them but boy oh boy what a battle we're going to have for gold because only two and a half kilos separate them. Now this this will put Ornell into the lead. But Pedersen will come right back with two and a half kilos heavier to take the lead. And Pedersen is the lighter. So really, Pedersen has all the advantages and Ornell really just has to push her as high as she possibly can. And that's good, and the Swedes cheer before the referee's lights even come on. And her hands go in the air. Now, Annette Pedersen, 92.5. I would go so far as to say this lift could take the gold medal because 
Ornell would have to go five kilos more than she's just done, and I'm not sure I saw a lift with five kilos in reserve when she was on the bench for the previous lift. Well, that was easy compared to a competitor. And I think that's the gold medalist right there. Good job on it. But I've been wrong before. I think it was in January 1983. And we move into the third round. And it's Augustiniuk from Germany again. 60 kilos on the bar. She's good with 52.5 and 57.5 and this is for 60 kilos she's in that stacked 63 kilo class we spoke about um, and she can't really do anything to get into the medals because bronze is currently I think 75 or is it 77 Doris and a half? Doris Augustinio, yeah, Germany. bronze is 77. Let's go, Doris. Bronze is 75 at the moment, and she's going 63rd. just too much sadly so she Sorry, finishes Mary. with the best of 57.5 we have a change just a second and we will have next lifter we will load her 62.5 kilos for Rita Sergold and as a result of an Rita. attempt change uh, uh, Rita Shergold is up next and, and she is taking 62.5 kilos. 62.5 kilos. And the clock will have to be reset. Well, it hasn't been. But it will be now. There is loading for Rita Circle, Great Britain. Come on, let's go. Let's go, Rita. And that's a good lift that from Shergold. And it's a good Three white lights. Same way for Tori Fun. Petrotsky and Verle, get ready. Now Torrell Fon from Sweden is next up. Is loaded 55 years Sweden. old, but she's only been competing for Come one in. year. And this takes her to within two and a half kilos of her personal best. Turn is lighter than Oh, 
she's battling, but no, that's just too heavy. Sorry, a little bit too much today. And Brian Parelva. 67.5 kilos for Martoni. Now, next up, we've got Petroski from Hungary in the 52 kilo class. Well, she was the lifter that had the big delay before her second round lift while the lights were sorted, so no such problems this time. And hopefully she can find the extra two and a half kilos to go three from three. And this will put her into silver medal position in the 52 kilo class for now could get pushed back down but she needs to make this to have a chance and she's fighting and it's just stalled it's not going anywhere at all brave attempt Sorry, no now next up Geraldine Verlain from France kilos for Geraldine Verlain, followed by Patona and Sarah. also in the 52 kilo class Bar is loaded for Geraldine France. And this uh, will not improve on her second place. It'll improve the number. But her competitor is a further two and a half kilos ahead. Uh, Philippe, also from France, she did 72.5 in the second round. That leads, that's good enough for gold. And this is the silver medalist, come with me. She battles and she battles and it stalls. Sorry, no lift. 72.5 kilos for No, just went back too soon, lost the line. Nowhere to press from. Now, Katona from Hungary in the 57s, 72.5 kilos. Very close battle in the 57s. And as we said, this increase of two and a half kilos takes her from silver to gold medal position with lifters to follow, of course. Oh, I thought that had gone back too soon, but she rescued it. That's a great lift from Katona. She gets a yellow from the near side referee from Germany. But uh, I don't know, did the butt come up? Yeah, very slightly. Now, Anita Sater from Norway is next, also in the 57s. Now, I said it was close. This will take her from fourth to first. Only four competitors. And this will put her into gold medal position. Let's go. Lifters to follow, of course, that's the caveat. This will guarantee a medal though. Oh, that was strong. And three white lights and she gets a medal. All we have to wait now is to see what color that medal is. Now Virginie Philippe from France in the 52 kilo class, lifting 75 kilos. Close to 50% over body weight, Masters 2 women. Just so impressive. And unsurprisingly, she is ranked one in the 52s. The gold medalist. Can she add the extra two and a half kilos?
No, it went down. No, not quite. Again, that seemed to go forward slightly, and it's very difficult to rescue it when that happens. Now, Mjankova from Czechia, 75 kilos in the 57 kilo class. Five attempts trying to change the opener. Before second group. And this would put her from fourth to first place in the 57s. But she missed 72 and a half last time. Can she come back and do two and a half kilos more than she couldn't do last time? There may be a gold medal for her if she can. And it's looking good and she's fighting. And it just stalls. Oh, if that had gone an inch or two more, Sorry, I think she'd have been able to lock it out. But a brave attempt. Brave attempt for the gold medal. Now, Marie Caboche from France, also in the 57s. 75 kilos. This will put her from bronze medal position into gold medal position and she's put together a good sequence she's been good on 67.5 and 72.5 will the extra two and a half kilos do anything to slow her down Can she swap bronze for a possible gold? Oh, she's fighting, she's fighting. It's stalled again. It just gets, ah, oh, we've seen that a few times Sorry, today. Nice. Gets three quarters of the way up and just so can't lock it out. And after this, there is three. Now, Maureen Gordon in the 63s for Great Britain. This is an attempt to get on the podium. She's given up trying to catch the top two. But she's saying to the Swedish lifter, I don't believe you can lift anymore. You missed it last time. I think you'll miss it again. And I think if I get 75 kilos, I'll get the bronze medal. Well, it's Gordon first. The Swedish lifter will follow. And we'll find out if it was the right choice or not. But first of all, Mo Gordon has to make this lift for a chance of a medal. Oh, it's a great lift. And that is three wide lights. And now she just has to sit and wait. Then we have Victoria Sederholm from Sweden. Now this is Victoria Sederholm from Sweden. She missed 77.5 last time. If she makes it this time, she gets the bronze and Gordon gets pushed down to fourth. So this for the bronze medal. And there are a lot of Swedes in the audience and there'll be a big, big cheer if she makes this lift. Oh yes, what a fantastic comeback from Sederholm. And she celebrates and listen to the Swedes in the audience. What fantastic lifting. Now Sana Oxenen from Finland in the 63 kilo class again. And this is the battle for gold in this very close 63 kilo class. Oxenen will move from silver to gold medal position if she makes this lift, but there will be a lifter to follow that only has to match her lift to win the gold on body weight. Let's go, Samana. So already the silver medal is guaranteed for a chance of gold. 
No. Just too much. Gold medal goes to Latvia in the shape of the lifter we see now, Tatjana Spakova from Latvia, and she is taking 82.5 kilos as well. She is the gold medalist. This to put the cherry on the cake. Very impressive with her first two lifts. If you ask for an opinion, I don't think the extra two and a half kilos is going to come close to stopping her. She can relax knowing she has the gold medal, go into flow state and just do it. No, just too much. Sorry, too heavy today, but it's easy to smile when you are European champion already. Then we have Mia Arnold, 95 kilos. Now we have the battle Sweden. for the 76 the kilo class with the Sweden. next two lifters. Ornell with this lift will go into gold medal position. And then Pedersen can come back at a, if you remember second round lifts, Pedersen was more convincing than Ornell, but that now means nothing. It is what they do in the next two lifts that counts. And if Ornell can somehow make this and put pressure on Pedersen, who knows what might happen. But Pedersen really holds the aces. Ornell has to make this lift if she wants a chance of being European champion. Pedersen would only have to make hers if Oxenen makes this. Sorry, Ornell, not Oxenen. My, apo my apologies. No, no. I thought she was right so on her limit, uh, the previous and lift. And she has to settle for and silver. The and the gold medal, the last Anna lifter in this group, is Annette Denmark, Pedersen. Kilos and a she is the champion. Go we'll go straight Let's on go. after this lift Turner, with the 69 and under and over 84 Masters 2 women. And as we suspected, really the 95 was there today. And uh, she didn't need it to be the European Bangladesh champion, but she got it anyway. Congratulations to her. And we'll lower the bar and just uh, take on a little bit of food and water for 30 seconds before the next group starts. Maris Lowe for Andrea Turner, Austria. And here we are with Turner from Austria. First out in the 69s, 55 kilos on the bar. May that look easy. And just a reminder, if you're just joining us, this group is all Masters 2 women. 
It's the 69 kilo class and the under and over 84s. Next up is uh, Kirsten Falkenberg from Germany, also opening with 55 kilos, also in the 69 kilo class. And that looks good. Well, she got one yellow. I think that's because there was a slight motion of the bar at the top, which we won't see here, before she started taking it down. No, it was the butt off the bench. Now, Pustai Beata from Hungary, also in the 69 kilo class. 57.5 and I think the, the I'm seeing a member of the jury going over to the speaker's table and I think that last lift is overruled it is a no lift because the jury saw what you saw and we all saw the butt coming off the bench but this is Beata and that looks very good and, it's a good and three white the lights side. just heard that jury overruled Kirsten Falkenberg's lift. And then we have Rachel Sprague. Rachel Sprague, Great Britain and up Paris next. Fifty-seven point five kilos. kilos also Lodi, in the sixty-nine kilo class. Boris Lodi, yeah. Oh, great lift. That was easy. Plenty in the tank. Three and wide lights. Now, Erzbet okay. Schneider from Hungary is the first in the 84 plus, and she is opening with 60 kilos. Looks good. And it's a good lift. 62.5 kilos for Tina Otila Finland. Now the Jackson next weight is 62.5 kilos for Tina Utila from Finland. And the bar is loaded for Tina Otila Finland. Let's oh, go. Utila, Tina. I'm listening to the speaker who is Finnish. So I imagine her pronunciation would be marginally better than mine. So, Tina Utila. Looks good. It was easy lift and opener for Tina, and it's a good lift. Good job. 65 kilos for Elaine Jackson, Great Britain. Now, Elaine Jackson, Great Britain, one of two lifters in the 84 plus class. So, guaranteed a medal if she makes this lift, but also moves into gold medal position. This would put her five kilos ahead of Schneider, the Hungarian lifter, if she makes it.
and I think sporting the colours of the Ukrainian flag in her hair. Oh, it looked very easy. Nice opener for Ellen, referee say. It's a good game. Yeah, three white lights. Plenty more to play with. Now, go better at Stavheim from Norway back to the 69s. And she's opening on 65 kilos. Come in here. Oh, it looks very easy. Nice and easy start As I suppose an opener also. should. Now Karina Muller Frey from Germany. Get ready. Bar is loaded for Karina Muller Frey, Germany. And Karina is in the under eighty four. Kilo class. That was really oh, that looked really Amanda. good. And also, it's a good lead. Three white lights. Same way for Katarzyna Kovalik, Poland, Lekes, and Samoylova, Gavredi, and Boris Lowry. Now, Katarzyna Kovalik from Poland, 51 years old. in the 69 kilo class. Easy. Looks really smooth and referee say it's a good lead for Katarzyna or for 70 kilos for Florence Lekes, France. Some uh, Florence Lekes from Florence France. Taking Bond. 70 kilos. Let's go. And as her belt shimmers in the spotlight, she gets three wide lights. Now Ludmila Samoylova from Latvia is up next. 72.5 kilos for the 53-year-old Latvian.
That looks good as well. Nice opener for Ludmilla and it's a good lift. Annika Aubin, 75 kilos. Rose, Matson and Bach. Now Annika Oberg from Sweden, 75 kilos in the under 84 kilo class. Muller Fry, the only lifter in this class so far with 67.5. This is going to put her into gold medal position, but there's two following on 90 kilos. So I think this will give her one hand on the bronze medal but if she wants more than that she's gonna have to make some huge jumps taking time to get settled get comfortable which is absolutely fine as long as you don't have to re-rack takes it out herself gets the start command nice easy opener and it's a good lift same way for Lincoln Rose Great Britain Matson and Buck now Lincoln Rose from Great Britain is next it's actually um yeah it is Lincoln Rose my apologies Lincoln Rose Great Britain In the 69 kilo class, last out. This would give her the lead at the end of the first round. Nice and smooth. That was a very easy start for Rose and a good lift. Three wide lights. Two more lifts in the first round, both in the under 84. And they are so closely matched on body weight, there is only 0 0.1 of a kilo between them. But Matson, who you see there, is the lighter of the two. So this to take the lead. Oh, that's a hard opener, but I think it's good. But the question nice is, how it's much more is there? Well, she got a yellow, yellow flag. flag from the uh, referee Same on... Yeah, the butt did the come up. It's only very slight, but it did. Now, Sylvia Bach from Hungary. The Bach we normally see is from Denmark. Um, and she is a great deadlifter, Katrin Bach. But this time it's Sylvia back from Hungary. And this will take the lead in the under 84 bench competition at the end of the first round. And it's a good lift for Sylvia. And that's a good lift. Kilos for Kirsten Falkenberg, Germany. Third Beata. Get ready. Now, Kirsten Falkenberg from Germany. Remember, she had a good lift, but it was overturned by the referees. And just a very quick summary in the under 84s, Matson leads from back. Um, by lighter body weight, but back for me was more convincing. In the over 84s, Jackson leads from Schneider, 
And in the 69s, Lincoln Rose leads by two and a half and kilos from Samalova from Latvia with La Caisse from France close behind. Into the second round and Kirsten Falkenberg, remember she has a red light against her name, needs to put that right. That looks good. And three whites from the referees. Um, the referees' lights are broken again. They're using flags. Obviously, need to be reset. We have 55 kilos for Andrea Turner. So there's just a slight delay because uh, Falkenberg's uh, name is still being shown. Uh, but we now got uh, Andrea Turner from Austria in the 69 kilo class, attempting 60 kilos. And we've had a change of speaker and our friend uh, Mick Ellender, who you saw lifting this morning, has temporarily taken over speaking duties. Cat one referee, of course, no ch stranger to the speaker's chair. This is Turner. And that looks good. And that was a good lift, three white lights. And three white lights for Turner, but I think she was pretty close to her limit there. Now, Beata from Hungary is next in the 69s, 62.5 kilos. For Pustai Beata, five kilo jump from her opener. That looks good. And that was a good Three wide lines. Now Rachel Sprague from Great Britain next. 62.5 kilos. And bar is loaded. She was very comfortable with her opener, 57.5, so she's taken a 5 kilo jump to 62.5 for her second round attempt. Oh, it looks good as well. Three white lights. Now, Erzabet Schneider from Hungary. This is the battle in the 84 plus between Schneider and Jackson. Jackson five kilos ahead at the end of the first round. Schneider has the advantage of the lighter body weight. Barcelona. Oh, that's a good lift. And that's a good lift. Three white lights. Next will be Elizabeth. So, uh, so, uh, 
Now Tina Utila from Finland, 65 kilos so on the bar. Tina Utila, Finland, 65 kilos. Let's go, Tina. Just a two and a half kilo increase. At a stage in the competition where every kilo counts. This would take her from seventh to fifth. Probably just a little bit too far back when I look at the rest of the field. But it's a good lift. Looks really easy for Tina and it's the reset. We need one more light. And they're showing flags again. And it's three whites three white for so Utila. Now, Elaine Jackson. This is the this battle. Is five for Elaine Jackson. Stolheim and Müller Fry get ready. And I'm just looking at the lot. Well, Jackson is the lower Elaine lot Jackson. than Schneider. Six, so she hasn't Ray got the luxury of necessarily following her. And remember, Jackson has to keep ahead because she's the heavier body weight but they do have the option of two changes in the third round now Jackson was really convincing with 65 I'm quite surprised she's only gone up two and a half again that looks like something you do in the warm-up room before you come out. And it's a good lead for Elaine. So I think she'll just, uh, you know, if it's a case of becoming European champion, just to two and a half kilos more than your nearest opponent. Now Stavheim from Norway. She's taking 70 kilos in the 69 kilo class. And this would put her from sixth to fourth place with a jump of five kilos. Remember, the leader after one round was Lincoln Rose, Great Britain, with 75 kilos. That looked good. No, good it got yellows from both Sorry. the side referees, but must have come off the bench. Just watch. You see it as we see it. Yeah. 72.5 yeah. kilos for Karina Miller-Fry. Only enough to get a Budapest tram through, so. Now Karina Muller-Fry, Germany. She's jumped five kilos as well, 72.5. And she is in the under 84 kilo class. One of four lifters. And this gets her within two and a half kilos of bronze if she makes it. But of course the lifter in bronze position has still to take her second round lift. But this will be to apply some pressure. Pressure duly applied. It's a good Three wide lights. Now Florence Lequesse from, from France, 72.5 kilos. Very comfortable with her opener and only taking two and a half kilos more. This moves her into silver medal position on body weight for now. And she is the lightest of those at the top end. So if it ever comes down to same weight lifted, uh, Lacaise will win on body weight every time. Oh no! I'm going to wait for the referees in that one. Yes, three white lights. I thought I saw a hint of downward movement, but I think it just slowed. Yeah, there was no downward movement there at all. My apologies to the lifter. Great lift. 
Now Kowalik from Poland. Also 72.5 kilos. This to move her into bronze medal position. Currently in fourth. Katarzyna Kowalik. Oh, what a fight, and it's going, and it's going, and somehow she has locked that, that out and gets it two to one. What a fantastic effort from the Polish Good job. lifter. 75 kilos for Ludmila Samoylova, Latvia, Rose. Now Samoylova from Latvia is next up in the 69s. Got two more lifters in the 69s. Then the final three lifts of the second round will be in the under 84. So Samoylova, so closely packed are they, this lift would move her from fourth into first place. With Rose from Great Britain still to take her second lift, of course. Oh, again, great battle, but no, no. And she may be destined to finish just outside the medals, I'm afraid. Uh, but it's Lincoln Rose now, Great Britain, 77.5 kilos. And just looking at the numbers on the board, I think she'll have one hand on the gold medal and the European title if she can make this. But if, remember, it's a very small word with a very big meaning. And this is the heat of battle at the European Championships. Oh, smashed it. More there. That was easy for and Three wide lights. And three more lifts in the second round, all in the under 84. And we'll get 80 kilos for Annika Arberg from Sweden. And I think I'd go so far as to say this would guarantee her the bronze. Because she's lighter than Muller Fry. And this will put her seven and a half kilos ahead. So Muller Fry would have to go 82.5 to beat her, and I don't think that's there. So realistically, this is to secure the bronze medal for is Sweden. Chief referee. I don't know what's going on, but the chief referee has Barcelona now given the bar loaded sign. Now, as we said, this pretty much guarantees bronze medal, and she chases the platform crew away and says, "No, I'll do it myself." Well, you, we've always seen lifters do this, but I think a lot more people got into the habit of doing it during lockdown when they were training on their own and have now got so used to it that they don't want to change the way they lift. Swedish coach looks on this for bronze. No, no. Well, that opens her up to that opens her up to an attack from Mula Fry. So there are two more lifts to go. Matson from Finland next. 92.5 kilos. Boris Lodi for Tutta Matson, Finland, Suomi. Tutta Matson, 92.5 kilos for the next two lifters. 
And remember, Matson is 0.1 of a kilo. Lighter than back. Matson 83.00, back 83.10. And that could be all that separates gold and silver today here in this under 84 Masters 2 class. Oh, what a great battle. That should be good. What a fight. And Red Reese. No, oh, got yellows. Presume the butt came up. Something we can't see from our there position here. Let's look at the replay. Sylvia yeah, Bach, yeah. 92.5 kilos. And the bar is low. Now, Sylvia Bach, 92.5. And she will become Oliver the Turner. big favorite for gold. If she makes this. Because you would think Matson would have to take uh, 92.5 again. So this is back. Well, if you didn't see that, the loaders Sorry, helped no, her take it back up because she just shook her head at the bottom and said job. it's not there. It's so not there both the top two in the under 84s have missed Turner. their second yeah. round attempts. We'll load 60 kilos for Kirsten Falkenberg, Germany. And there is one more round to go. And just quickly to summarize, Matson leads from back in the under 84s. Jackson leads from Schneider in the over 84s. Rose leads from Lekes. And uh, Kovalik in the 69 kilo class. Three of them in the 69s, all on 72.5 kilos. It's building to a dramatic finale. But this is Falkenberg from Germany. 60 kilos, third attempt, 69 kilos. Oh, she, what happened was she didn't take the bar far away from the rack and she hit the rack no, on the way down. I hope Kirsten is okay. Just watch it again. She didn't take the bar far enough forward now. That is the lifter's responsibility to be far enough there. forward from Austria. the rack so as yeah, not to hit it. Not a malfunction with the equipment or anything the platform crew have done. The lifter was just too far back on the bench. Now, Andrea Turner from Austria, 62.5 kilos on the bar. She's not going to get a medal. She knows she's not going to get a medal. But a lot of it's about taking part. And this is a fantastic venue in a fantastic city. And I think there's been a misload there. Oh, no, it's OK. And the lifter waits. And as we say, a fantastic venue in a fantastic city. This has got to be as spectacular an auditorium as we have ever brought you a championship from and I can imagine if it was full the noise would be intense No, just too much. Sorry, no risk. We'll load the bar 65 kilos for Pustai. Now, Pustai Beata from Hungary next. 65 kilos. Just looking at the scoreboard, uh, in the under 84s, three of the four lifters missed their second round lift. 
now. Pustai Beata is going for 65 kilos. Outside the medals in the 69s. Bar is loaded for Pustai Beata Hungary. Oh no, that just didn't move at all. Serena lifts. Same way. No, it just didn't go anywhere at all, did it? No, Rachel Sprague. Great Britain, 69 kilo, 65 kilos, my apologies, in the 69 kilo class. put her to fifth place remember second third and fourth are all on 72.5 she can't quite break into that party but she can be best of the rest and she's battling but no Sorry, no lift. 67.5. Well, we've got four out of four no lifts in the 69 kilo class third round. Let's hope that does not continue. Now we move to the 84 plus Erzbet Schneider. Uh, this is where the 84 plus title is about to be decided because uh, Schneider is going 60. 7.5 well Jackson's down for 85 but I think she'll drop if Schneider makes the lift and she has indeed she's dropped to 70 and that put Schneider in the lead but Jackson was so convincing on the uh, previous two lifts but before that we go to Utila Followed by Jackson and Samoilova. And the bar is loaded for Tina Otila, Suomi, Finland. And again, just outside the medals. Sprague was trying to take this fifth place, didn't make it. She's guaranteed fifth now. Nobody will catch her, and she can't catch anyone ahead of her. Good lift. Looks smooth. And if the referees agree with me, that's the first good lift in the third round of the 69s. Now, Elaine Jackson, Great Britain, 70 kilos on the bar. This to become European champion in a battle of two. All you have to do is lift two and a half kilos more than your opponent. And that is the sensible route she's taken. I say I'm convinced there's a lot more there. Uh, but you can do a lot more any time. You can only win the European title at the European Championships. And this lift to do just that. Was ever a European title more easily won? Great lift. Three white lights. And you just wonder what uh, she would have been capable of had she been pushed a little bit more. Now, Samoilova from Latvia. We're into the battle of the 69s now for the next, next four lifts. They will all be 75 kilos. They will all be in the 69s and they will all be for a medal. 
on this 75 kilo. This is to move into silver medal position. Uh, I can tell you if no one changes their third round attempt, uh, Lincoln Rose is a European champion with 77.5, but there may yet be third round changes. No. Well, she missed it last time and she missed it again. So she will be outside the medals, whatever happens. Now, Florence Lacaisse from France, also 75 kilos. She is currently in second place. This is to try and safeguard that second place. Remember, Lacaisse is um, the lightest of those still to go. So this will guarantee her the silver medal unless Kovalik uh, changes her attempt, which she can do because she's a higher lot number. Oh, what a battle, but it's not going anywhere. Oh, it is going, oh, can you believe that? Oh, I had given up on it. What a spectacular fight. Uh, she gets yellows from all the referees, but uh, if there was a, if there was an award for the biggest battle of the day, she'd be in with a good chance of that. Now, Gobert Stavheim from Norway has not jumped. This will put her from sixth to second place, but it's five kilos more than she failed last time. It's something you've got to try when you're at a big championship and you're outside the medals. You just put the number that you need on the bar and just hope you have a perfect day or a perfect moment and everything goes just right. No, good try. Sorry, a little bit too heavy today. No lift. Now Kovalik, 75 kilos as well. 75 kilos for Katarina Kovalik. Uh, she's guaranteed a medal. Uh, currently it's bronze. If she makes this medal, she gets silver. It's only two and a half kilos more than her second round attempt. 75 kilos. It's her final attempt of the day. And this is for silver. And if you're watching in Great Britain, I can tell you Lincoln Rose is the European champion, Masters 269 kilo class. She's already on 77.5 kilos. Nobody else is even attempting that number in the third round. Now, Carolina. Katarina Kovalik, this for silver. No one coming after her that can take the silver away. This for silver, bronze if she misses it. Everything on this lift, can she fight it up? Can she battle? She's battling, but no, it's just too heavy. And we see time and time again that extra Two and a half kilos looks like 22 and a half kilos. Now we move to the under 84 kilo class and we counted Mula Fry out more or less, but if she makes this lift and it will equal her personal best, she will move into bronze medal position and Arborg, the Swede, would have to make a lift she missed last time in order to go past her. So this for a possible bronze medal for Karina muller fry who must have felt at the start she was just a little bit behind the others, but perhaps not. This for a possible bronze.
It's going, it's going, it's going, and it's stalled. Brave attempt. She did what she had to, but that extra five kilos was just too much. 80 kilos for Annika Aberg, Sweden. So we know who the bronze medalist is in the under 84s. It's this lifter, Annika Aberg. We still don't know who's going to get the gold and silver. Barnes Lode for Annika Aberg, Sweden. Let's go. Come in there. A lot of Swedish support in the audience. No, I think she missed the start command. Sadly, that'll be all yellows, and she knows it. She smiles. Well, she managed to get a white no lift. some or other, but it is a no lift. And now we come to Lincoln Rose, Great Britain, uh, the gold medalist in the 69 kilo class with 77.5 kilos. And this is really her lap of honor, 80 kilos on the bar. Lifter is Lincoln Rose, the for 80 kilos. Matson and Buck following, and Boris Lodi for Rose Lincoln, Great Britain. She's European champion already. And that looks like an opener. Three white lights. European champion today. And two more lifts. Now Tutta Matsen from Finland. 92.5. Remember there are there is only 0 0.1 of a kilo between the next two lifters. They're both taking 92.5 again. They both missed it last time. If they both miss it this time, Matson is the champion. And if Matson gets it, back would have to go up to 95 kilos if she wanted a crack at the title. And remember last time, she shook her head without even attempting to press it. But was that a tactic? We've seen it be before in deadlift. We've seen people miss a second deadlift, lulling the opponent into a false sense of security and then pulling it third time round. Oh, it's going, it's going. Oh, she's locked that out, but... Did she put it back before she got the rack command? So yes, she it. did. All that hard work. Almost and there. she put it back before she got the rack Zilia. command. Zilia. Who knows what the outcome would have been otherwise, Zilia. but it went straight in. Now, Sylvia Bach, Hungary, has this lift to become the European Sorry. champion. Remember, it's a lift Zilia. she couldn't move. It's a weight, rather. She couldn't move off her chest at the second time of asking, or rather in the second round, but now at the second time of asking, can she find something else? Because if she Let's can go. make this lift, the final lift Open of the session, she Sylvia will be the champion on home soil. No, no, not to be. And well, all four of the under 84s missed their last attempts. So Matson takes the silver. 
Matson takes the gold, sorry, back the silver, and Aberg takes the bronze. And just to summarize the results, uh, in the under 84s, as you've just seen, Tuta Matson took the gold from Susan Back on marginally lighter body weight, 0.1 of a kilo separated gold and silver. Aberg takes a bronze. And in the 69s, Lincoln Rose, Great Britain, is the champion. Uh, Le Caisse from France takes silver on 72.5 kilos at a lighter uh, body weight than Kowalek from Poland, who takes bronze also in 72.5. And just outside the medals, and luckily also on 72.5, was Samoylova from Latvia. And in the... 84 plus Elaine Jackson from Great Britain wins with 70 kilos just ahead of Schneider from Hungary with 67.5 hope you've enjoyed that afternoon session we'll take a break from the commentary booth please stay with us for the victory ceremony and if my memory is correct uh, the next session starts at 6 o'clock and I may well have a very special uh, guest co-commentator with me.
also the victory ceremony in European Bench Press Championships 2022 here in Budapest. First, we will give uh, the participation medals. Jorn Asta from Norway. And then Miriam Puswat. And yes, we have two different groups here when we are giving away the medals. Then we will start with 52 kilogram category Masters 2. Bronze medal goes to Magdalena Petrovsky in Hungary, 65 kilos with two. <laughs> Silver medal to Geraldine Berlin, Hollands, 67.5 kilos bench press today. Gold medal, European champion is Virginie Pili from France with 72.5 kilos bench press. Please stand up for, for national anthem of France. Congratulations. And then we have the 57 kilogram category. Bronze medal goes to Mary Gapos from France. 72.5 kilos lift. Silver medal to Balinte Katona, Hungary, also with 72.5 kilos lift. This was really, really tough category. Gold medal, European champion is Anita Seter from Norway, also with 72.5 hours on body weight. First time I've seen this. Please stand up for national anthem of Norway. Congratulations, the ladies were so amazing in fighting today. Then we have 63 kilogram category. Bronze medal goes to Victoria Sederholm from Sweden. 77.5 kilos range. 
silver medal to the Sanna Oksanen from Finland. 80 kilos wins today. Gold medal. European champion is Tatiana Spakova from Latvia. 80 kilos wins today. Light German heavyweight sees European champion. Please stand up for national anthem of Latvia. Congratulations. Then we have 76 kilos category. Silver medal to Mia Ornell, Sweden. 90 kilos. Ben stress today. They had a good fight with Anetta Pedersen. But still, gold medal. European champion is today Anette Pedersen from Denmark with 95 kilos. Always so happy. Please stand up for national anthem of Denmark. Thank you so much, ladies, and then we will take the second group at the stage. Then we take the second group in.
we start with the 69 kilogram category. France medal goes to Katarzyna Kovali, Poland with 72.5 kilos. Silver to Florence Lecas from France, also with 72.5 kilos for light on body weight. Gold medal, European champion is Lincoln Rose from Great Britain, 18 kilos. Please stand up for National Anthem of Great Britain. Category. Bronze medal goes to Annika Aberg from Sweden. 75 kilos goes to her. Silver medal to Sylvia Park from Hungary with 90 kilos. And gold medal, European champion is Dota Matson from Finland, also with 90 kilos, light on body weight. Please stand up for national anthem of Finland. Category. Silver medal goes to Elizabeth Schneider from Hungary, 67.5 kilos. Gold medal, European champion today is Elaine Jackson from Great Britain, 70 kilos bench. Stand up for the national anthem of Great Britain.
Congratulations.